mid-90s, the first feature directed by the actor Jonah Hill, is in many ways a remarkable debut. On paper, the subject would appear to have been done to death. The film deals with the troubles of a kid growing up in Los Angeles. But Hill, who wrote and directed the film, not only has a remarkable facility with actors, but also an uncompromising and almost painfully real approach to his subject matter. The kid at the centre of the film is Stevie, a 13-year-old played with complete assurance by Sonny Suljic, an actor whose short stature, long hair and beatific smile make him appear even younger than he actually is. Stevie lives with his single mother, Dabney, Catherine Waterston, and his older brother, Ian. Dabney tries to be a good mother, but she's not always successful in the role. She doesn't seem to realise that Ian gets a bit of a kick out of bashing his kid brother, or that when she has men stay the night, it bothers Stevie. Stevie is simply looking for love and affection, and he isn't getting much at home. But he finds it when he starts hanging out with a quartet of older boys, skateboarders, who smoke, drink, do drugs, and, for Stevie, are role models to be admired. Hill doesn't provide much of a narrative, and he doesn't intend to. As the film proceeds, we watch Stevie mature before our eyes. We're happy for him, but we fear for him too, because his new friends may not be the best company. In the early scenes, I found the street language a bit difficult to understand, but I soon got used to it. Dialogue doesn't matter all that much, after all. Hill's achievement is to make a very small but very honest and truthful film about kids who are painfully real. I'm giving mid-90s four stars.